Mr. Morhan should not be behind bars right now. He is the victim in this case. He is the victim of police brutality. And as we speak, he has two bullets lodged in him, one in his chest that easily could have taken his life. The situation began with a verbal dispute as a result of the reckless driving of the off-duty officer. The off-duty officer then escalated that and used a deadly physical force upon Mr. Morhan when he had no basis to do that. He is fortunate in that the area where the bullet lodged did not strike anything that would have resulted in a fatality. He got very lucky with respect to where he was struck with the bullet. We've asked the district attorney to look into whether or not there's an inference that the officer was drinking. Based upon our own preliminary investigation, there is a strong good faith basis to believe that that, in fact, is the case here, which, of course, would change the tenor of the entire case and destroy the credibility of any allegations put forward by this officer.